Let's learn about Grant Wood. Grant Wood was born in rural Iowa on February 13th in 1891. When he was 10, his father died, so his mother moved the family to Cedar Rapids, where he began working as an apprentice in a metal shop. He showed promise in art in school, so when he graduated high school, he went to the Minneapolis School of Design and Handicraft. He learned new art skills like jewelry and furniture making, then moved to Chicago in 1913. When he was 22, he spent his days working on jewelry and metalworking and his nights practicing his art skills with classes. Three years later, his mother got sick and he went back to Cedar Rapids. He became a teacher to support his mom and sister. He kept doing art the whole time and got better and better. From 1922 to 1928, he went to Europe four times and studied lots of painting styles, like Impressionism and Post-Impressionism, but especially the 15th and 16th century German and Flemish artists, whose realism and attention to detail really inspired him. He came back to the U.S. motivated to create art based on these styles. His most famous painting, American Gothic, was created in 1930. It shows the detailed techniques copied from the Flemish masters, but also the regionalistic style Wood was known for. Regionalism was an American realistic modern art movement, mostly from the Midwest and South, and based in the Great Depression era. American Gothic was displayed at the Art Institute of Chicago, where it still hangs today, and immediately gained acclaim. It shows a farmer, modeled after Wood's dentist, and a woman, who is his daughter, was modeled after Wood's sister, standing in front of a white farmhouse with a long Gothic-style window. Some people thought the painting was showing the problem with rural small towns, but Grant Wood says it shows the opposite. In other words, the steadfast American pioneer spirit. Let's look at some of Wood's other art. The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere was painted in 1931 and inspired by the poem Paul Revere's Ride by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. I'll read the first two lines and look at the picture and imagine the story. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. On the 18th of April in 75, hardly a man is now alive who remembers that famous day and year. He said to his friend, if the British march by land or by sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch on the northern church tower as a signal light. One if by land and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore will be ready to ride and spread the alarm through every middle next village and farm for the country folk to be up and to arm. Grant Wood is great at telling a story with his pictures. In Parson Weems Fable from 1939, it even shows the storyteller pulling back the curtain to show the story of Washington chopping down the cherry tree. Young Corn from 1931 shows great perspective, as does Stone City, Iowa from 1930. Full Plowing from 1931. Check out the foreground, the things that are up close. The middle ground, the things that are in the middle. In the background, the things that are furthest away. All of these pictures show these three main art elements. Okay guys, bye.